Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the International Fab Talks. Thank you for being a part of our journey, dear friends, and thank you for the support, love, and encouragement. And beyond all of that, the bonding of the common man, not only within India, across the world. There are several people who are connected with us on the International Fab Talks. And today, I have a lovely friend with me here joining us all the way from North India. And guess who it is? It is a beautiful person with a beautiful mind. He is Upendra. Upendra Kumar, a counselor, and much more to that. So first, let me introduce him to you, to you all, and then we go ahead to introduce him officially. Hello, sir, and welcome, sir, to the session. Hello, Namaskar. Thank you so much. This was the very first time I've been introduced in such a honored way. So thank you, Crystal. Thank you, sir. You're a very down to earth person, a practical person, and a very humble person. That's what I've seen. You're very humble and approachable. You know who is uh, this special celebrity, my dear friends, is Upendra Kumar Rana. And let's get to know more about him. What are his hidden talents and how he would like to contribute to the world and what he would want to get from you and how he would want to empower you and be empowered. That is all about the journey on the International Fab Talks to empower and to be empowered, to enlighten and to be, you know, a great source of inspiration to everyone. Dear sir, I'd like to go ahead and introduce you in an official way now, please. Please go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. My dear friends, happy to share the profile of our celebrity today. He is Mr. Upendra Kumar Rana, a counselor at Lotus Petal Foundation, Gurgaon, Haryana. He completed his master's in clinical psychology from Dev Sanskriti University, Haridwar in 2019 and started working as a counselor in Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya. In the year 2021, he was selected as one of the two counsellors for bereavement counselling of JNV students who lost their parents during COVID-19 pandemic in the state of Gujarat and neighbouring Union territories. Post-JNV, he was working in an NGO called Lotus Petal Foundation. And now we'll get to know more about our celebrity as to who he is and what he has to contribute. My dear friends, get to... Join me to get to know more about our celebrity. He's a wonderful person. And of course, you could be the next Upendra, young and wanting to inspire the world, wanting to do more for everyone. I just put it up in a more a, a clear way. He's here with us from Gurgaon, Haryana. Am I right, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your time and energy. My dear friends, let's begin the session on a positive note. Chaliye, hum milenge apne celebrity se aur puchhenge ki bhai inke zindagi kaise badla hai aur aapki zindagi kaise badal sakte hain badal sakta hai through his experience and if our hindi is if my hindi is not good kshama kijiye so how will you define yourself who is the real upender upendra thank you so much ma'am and you spoke really well hindi <laughs> and my father was in army so i was uh, born in ferozpur punjab and i completed my education from four different states Punjab, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, and Delhi. And post that, I took psychology as my optional subject in 11th grade. So I, at that time, when we had a school counselor who also used to teach psychology, I always wanted to be like that person. So in a way, I have achieved my dream. I have become a school counselor now. And the time when you mentioned I was chosen for the bereavement counseling of students who lost their parents during COVID pandemic, so it was a great challenge as well as a great achievement for all the hard work I've put in into my work and which was recognized by the people who were working around me. So I'm a counselor and this is something I want to be inculcated in everyone to seek help and to give help in whatever way, in whatever manner it is possible for them at that moment. Yes. Dear sir, thank you so much for sharing, sir. I love the way you gave your time and energy for all those children who have lost their parents and wanted the support and guidance and mentorship, right? Dear sir, you're a, you a lovely inspiration to many of the youngsters out there because many of them will not come out to do such a great work. step. <laughs> then I feel you are an inspiration to me and to many of the people out there. 
आपके उम्र में हम वो भी नहीं करते थे बस बैठ जाते हम घर में टीवी ऑन करते बैठ जाते अपने अपने घर अपना काम बट आप अपना जिंदगी यू नो सर्विस यू आर गिवन इट टू सोशल सर्विस एंड एंड एज अ काउंसलर बट द क्वेश्चन हियर इज हु हैज इंस्पायर्ड यू टू एंटर इनटू दिस फील्ड आपका इंस्पिरेशन कौन था सर सो द फर्स्ट इंस्पिरेशन वाज माय पेरेंट्स एज यू नो इन नवरात्रीज व्हाट दे डू as we were kids we used to go to four or five houses and after that we used to come to our house and we were like ke ab nahi jana pet bhar gaya i cannot go to any more houses to eat when they were they feed small children blind day so what my parents started doing is ke we will not invite little kids to our place instead we will prepare food and we'll go to nearest jukki jhopri or aslam area and we'll distribute food there at the ninth day so they were my first inspiration then i had my own school counselor and then i wanted to do something for the kids so these two people have inspired me in my journey of being this person right now who i am dear sir thank you so much dear sir we thank you so much for sharing all of that we'd like you now to share a childhood incident any incident that you remember from your childhood which is which is still fresh in your memory when we were kids and we were staying in the the army society so all the kids used to play a game we had to like uh, jump and climb jump, run and jump a bush so the bush was very and the elder kid used no were able to jump the bush easily but we were not but the fun of trying to make the jump and fall into the bushes was very thrilling so i have marks all over my legs and i always recall that memory whenever i see those aki chilia bushes around in any of the campuses in gurugram so all that memory is really fresh in my mind like as kids we are so carefree we are so courageous we are so brave but right now when we grow gradually all that uh, all those things start fading away so that was one memory is there any incident in your school where you got scolding or maybe you were praised by any of the teachers were you the naughty one or the you know the calm and shy child i was very calm shy decent kid i was never uh, scolded but i was praised because i was uh, in the football team in the school and inter house so we were praised by teachers whenever we had uh, even if we did something naughty we were like ma'am we had to play for the team we were there so we had a easy pass before because of that yes dear sir thank you sir for sharing dear sir how do we manage stress like you see every single moment there is something that brings stress as i just express something now so when we face a lot of challenges in life how do we overcome these challenges what are the secrets and what are the tips being a counselor you've been counseling so many people to overcome and manage their challenges in life yeah. would you like to share a few tips with us sir so it's very subjective but few things which can be unanimously accepted by everyone is you need to have a schedule it's not like you have to wake up early in the morning or sleep early in the night but you need to sleep at the same time every day wake up at the same time every day do your course and everything at the same time and you it's not robotic i'm not asking you to be a robot but you need to have a fixed schedule that will bring certain kind of calmness into your life apart from this whatever helps you relax your mind you should be doing that it's not you should not resist yourself from doing those things apart from being things which are uh, criminal acts or something which are not considered to be decent uh, by your elders you should not be doing those things but you should have a fixed schedule you should start meditating in the morning this is one primary thing whenever you wake up at 4 am at 8 am or at 12 am meditate for 15 minutes and whatever please you talk to your friends talk to your family these are some of the best stress bursters out there so please follow any one of them yes dear sir thank you sir so much thank you very much is there any book that you would like to suggest today by reading the book maybe you will get some knowledge you will really you know become the best version of you is there any book like that i don't read much books but there is one book which uh, uh, really have changed my mindset is a book by bruce h lipton called biology of belief so i i have read only few books but this one i would recommend anyone if they want to start their journey of reading any book biology of belief by bruce lipton yes dear thank you so much for sharing sir thank you so much dear sir 
how would you like to you know be remembered in this world how should people remember you how should people remember upender kumar rana kyu yaad karna hai aur kaise yaad karna hai bata dijiye so all my friends say i'm really helpful so this is a quality i would want everyone should remember me for remember me for is that upender help everyone and anyone who came to him or in whichever way it was possible for him so i want to be remembered as a helpful person how sweet that's so nice yes so yes friends we have very few people who think like this i should be of some help to others not only help myself but i should help others so that is how the world is going on right from the start till now and it will go on further with people like upender upendra am i right is it upender or upendra am i making a mistake now upendra it's upendra but all the people refer me as upender so you're the first person who's correcting uh, pronouncing it in the correct way now what's the correct way please help me now i'm again getting this upendra upendra so yes dear friends we have upendra with us and the world will shine the world will flourish if we have people like upendra being selfless wanting to see how i he could benefit others giving back to the society if there are many upendras in the world like this the world will be a beautiful place a heaven on earth yes dear friends dear sir now we'll come down to holidays do you ever take some time off from service social service counseling your profession do you take some time off and go on a vacation have you done yes. that yes i do and it's very necessary for everyone to take a break and rejuvenate yourself to get back to your work and give your 100% so i take break every uh, small break every 3 months uh, moderately moderate break every 6 months and big break after a year so so that i do your favorite holiday destination sir as a kid it was goa i have been to goa nine times i have stayed there for 6 months and right now i have been really fond of kerala last trip was to kerala I went to Kochi, Palakkad, LAP. Kerala is amazing, so I'm planning to visit there for a longer duration of time. So my next trip will be Kerala again. Nine times you've been to Goa, sir. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that's really nice. I've never yet, uh, I've never stepped in Goa as yet. But yes, if I make a plan to go to Goa, I'm going to take all the traveling tips from you. Please do, ma'am. Yes. I'll give you all the numbers. You won't face any kind of difficulty. How sweet of you. That's so nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. I haven't been yet, but I'd love to go to Goa. Please yes. do at least once. Yes, sir. Dear sir, now we'll ask you a very serious question. What is that one thing you love about yourself? कि मैं उपेंद्र हूँ और मैं अपने आप को खुद पसंद करता हूँ क्योंकि ये मेरा असली गुण है. This is the real me, the the quality within me, the core quality. I am someone who's very patient. Uh, people sometimes get amazed. Okay, why are you not reacting on this? Why are you not affected by this fact? So I just tell them one thing: What will I achieve by reacting on it or getting affected by it? I'll just create more troubles for myself. So I am someone who's crazy patient. That is one quality about me. Wonderful, sir. having patience is really one of the most beautiful qualities you know patience is the mother of virtue or they say you know patience is the mother of virtue i guess something like this on tag one line yeah that's a that's a complete quote. yes sabar ka phal meeta hota hai hmm yes hum hum sab ko seekhna hai wo ki bhai sabar kare to sab kuch mil jayega sab kuch hasil kar sakte hain not to be you know in a hurry to get things so the next question coming up about movies is there any movie like that which you have seen that has a social message okay. any movie that is close to your heart there are a lot of good movies uh, but the movie which i liked and came into our generation when everyone was fed about j and me three idiots it has so many messages for everyone for the child who are preparing for the exams or the parents who have their kids in 12th standard or they are preparing for the exams so it very briefly and very in detail comprises all the details through which students and parents go through in order to achieve something in their life and especially when they're not able to do it so three idiots is the movie for everyone at least they should watch while they're in school while sitting with their parents three idiots right yes, yes. thank you sir for sharing dear sir what if you win a big lottery अगर आपको बड़ी सी लॉटरी मिल गई बड़ी सी जैकपॉट मिल गई समझो 
तकदीर खुल गई मिल गई समझो बाय लक क्या करेंगे आप उसका इस्तेमाल कैसे करेंगे I'll buy a huge piece of farmland and I'll grow all kinds of small vegetables, mushrooms, tomatoes, mirchi, lemon, all these things. That's really nice. What a beautiful way to share that immediately you said, yes, I'll buy a huge piece of land or maybe a small piece of land you could also say and grow a lot of vegetables and different type of uh, fruits maybe and edible grains, I guess. Yes. Your favorite vegetable, by the way? I favorite vegetable. I uh, potato and vegetable. I like potato. Okay. It is something which can blend into anything and everything. So people also say on these days, be like potato. You can be anyone if you're a potato. Yes, dear. That's really nice. And my favorite is lady's finger, and I love that. I feel good. So yes, sir. I hope that you soon get a big jackpot. एक अच्छा सा छोटा सा फार्म लैंड ले लीजिए आप एंड ग्रो ऑल द वेजिटेबल्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू नो एंजॉय बिकॉज दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी हीलिंग व्हेन यू कनेक्ट विद नेचर तो उसमें वो भी पेशेंस है ना वो पूरा उगने उगाने के लिए पेशेंस चाहिए इट डजेंट ग्रो इमीडिएटली इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ पेशेंस नर्चरिंग केयर एंड लव यस टी डियर सो वेन यू आर इन स्कूल एंड कॉलेज डिड यू एवर टेक पार्ट इन स्पोर्ट्स एंड गेम्स uh as i mentioned earlier i was into my school uh, in football team so i didn't ex- excel well so i was in house team and school team so the highest level i reached was inter school what about cricket are you a cricket buff i watch cricket i don't play i cannot play i practically tried my hands on experience while playing i cannot bowl i cannot bat so i watch how did you feel when india won the war, won the Uh, you know under 19 world whatever the some series were going on just you know i think yesterday day before yesterday they have just won the day before yesterday i guess yes india yes. won the match against australia that is under 19 and india won lost the major match that is the world yes. cup so how did you feel when india lost and how did you feel when india won the match you know different teams but from so, india yeah so like every indian i was disheartened when we lost the world cup but uh, winning and losing are the part and parcel of the game so we were playing crazy well during the world cup so everyone was expecting it so they lost it was okay we'll have the next world cup the t20 world cup the test world cup will somehow win them all so fingers crossed for the next one yes dear so the fingers are crossed for the next world cup let's hope for the best dear sir india won the match have you seen the other one the other series between india and australia under 19 i haven't i haven't I've been really busy with my work lately yes dear So India won the series, like it was five. India won three matches and Australia two. Ah, uh, yeah. So the T Twenty series going on after the World Cup, and I guess a lot of young players and new players are playing for both the teams. So hopefully these players who are winning against Australia, they'll win the next World Cup. How sweet! What a way to say share that. Wonderful, dear sir. I would like you to share some information about how you spend time with those children who lost their parents. would you like to share that journey that experience how it was and what type of children you saw how were they responding so the, uh, i was in jamnagar gujarat i was uh, i knew the language i could understand the gujarati completely however i was not completely uh, fluent while speaking gujarati so i trained myself i spoke gujarati for about 3 months before that because i got to know that this thing will be happening and few counselors will be chosen for it so i wanted to be that person so for that i should be knowing the language because they these students they come from rural background most of their parents are farmers who lost their lives during the pandemic so i learned the language and while conversing with these students from grade 6 7th 8th 9th 11th 12th i should be the person who was uh, telling them inspiring them guiding them counseling them about their life but these students are so mature they were so i should be commanding of their life with what they have seen in the past few weeks they were telling me their experiences how they are dealing with school how they are dealing with uh, their grand because the parents were, has passed away so they were living with their grandparents or some other relatives so how they are dealing with this change into their life so i was really inspired with the kind of uh, emotional intelligence the students at this uh, generation have 
we could have never been dealt with such adversity and with such courage but they were really amazing so my journey whenever i used to connect with the student i used to connect with them uh, twice on you know, twice in a week so i was just amazed by their transformation they were recovering so well and they were also like if they were siblings the elder sibling was also helping helping the younger sibling in order to recover from that trauma so i did nothing the students have really helped me to learn a lot about this younger generation so that i could connect better in a better way with these children so that was my take away from it oh nice you're so humble you said that i have learned something from them that's yes. very nice and as you said the elder sibling took over and managed the things yes yes nice. dear sir let's go on to the next question like what type of a change you'd love to see in this world i as we were talking discussing about i really want everyone should Uh, stay in harmony and synergy with each other people are have become really selfish they do not know who their neighbor is they do not know what are they up to as compared to earlier times when they used to sit in a compound and knew everything what is happening in and around where they're living so i want everyone should stay in harmony and synergy and it's very easy living alone is difficult very true living alone is difficult living together is much better so connect and bond yes would you like to share your thoughts and views on smart work and hard work mm, it's tricky but uh, i guess uh, you are doing both at the same time because when you are physically the definition is when your uh, people assume by hard work it's all physical hard work when but when you're doing smart work you are actually doing all the hard work from your brain so both things go hand in hand and it is something which requires equal amount of balance between them in order to achieve the goal which you have planned for yourself yes dear sir dear sir maybe know about your dream projects do you have any dream projects for the future i oh, guess same thing which i mentioned to the student because i was amazed by the kind of emotional intelligence these students have so i i want everyone who ever in this mental health field to come and bring as much awareness about emotional intelligence social intelligence adversity intelligence and train people so that everyone is equipped with uh, all this kind of emotions whenever such adversity comes into their life yes dear sir thank you sir on this beautiful journey which you are into have you met good friends have friends supported you in what you are doing and how you would like to take your life further how would you impact the world in a positive way with social work with counseling yes sir this is something i have i have been blessed with really good friends they support in whatever way it is possible for them they come out of their ways even if they have to stop some of their work they come out if i ask them to volunteer for my ngo they take leaves and they come all my friends are really supportive in all the ways and it is because of them i i am leading a very peaceful and stress free life they uh, they have a huge contribution in it would you like to mention their names a lot of friends are there uh, uh gaurav sir uh, friends from my college himani aditi siddharth anand rohit any more yes uh, amar sir pramod navin saurabh lots of names and if yeah. anybody's name is missed out forgive sir because sir cannot share all of the names now but he sends a lots of love and thank you for being with him through this beautiful journey thanks to all of you would you like to mention any more names if at all you remembered a few i have then the list will keep on going but thank you thank you everyone for being with me in this beautiful journey of yes that's nice you know to be with friends to understand to contribute to the growth of one friend and in turn be benefited in any other way uh, this is karma acha karo aur acha bhi pao you know get give good and get back good dear sir uh, could we know something about the ngo that you are connected with so the lotus petal foundation they have uh, two schools uh, plus they have a skill development uh, program called jeevika and they have another program for digital learning called vidya sayog 
so in schools they teach edu- they give education for free of cost to underprivileged children in jivika they provide skill enhancement on whatever the up trend courses are there in the market uh, to 10th pass or 10th dropout student 12th dropout student at a very nominal fees apart from this they also provide provide commute and food along with it so they come they don't have to worry about anything and in digital learning program called vidya sayog they provide uh, in government and private schools where there is uh, lack of teachers in two villages so they provide a digital classroom facility thank you sir for sharing all of that thank you very much dear sir do you think the youth should start saving up for their future because Absolutely. many of the people you see the senior citizens now <clears throat> they have spent all of their money they don't have anything with them they have become penniless sara paisa apne bachon ko ghar parivar ko kharch kar diye ab filhal unke paas kuch bhi nahi hai to aise log abandoned bhi ho gaye apne parents apne family members abandon kar diye khud ke bacche bhi they have let them off not taking care of them so should the youngsters start thinking very deeply and like start the savings now Yes, absolutely. If you're in in their twenties, they should start their savings into their twenties. They should not think this is the time for me to enjoy and spend on myself. You should do that as well. Plus, save a little amount, and when you gradually grow, you should increase the amount of savings more and spending on to luxury objects a little less. So enjoy, but also save. Saving is a necessity, or you should at least. increase your income from different sources so you should have at least two or three different kind of sources from which uh, kind of passive income is coming to you very true sir very true. thank you so much dear sir if you are not who you are now into the field of social work as a counselor and all of this what would you have become agar ye nahi to aur kya i would have been a footballer i would have been playing for india or some great club in england very true very nice that would be nice no upendra you know in the football zone that is nice. yeah just imagine that it really gives good it feels good yes. yes but but i guess the almighty and the universe had different thoughts and plans for you you know different powers to be given to you to come into this beautiful field to share and create that beautiful space for other people You know, to give back to the society in a wonderful way. It's not that you always think about yourself. You begin to think of others, then automatically you feel happy from within. True. Yes, dear sir. Would you like to give any message to the younger generation? There are. I would. I would want many more Upendras. But if one Upendra is, then it will not be enough. One grain of sand in the sea. So we need many more Upendras. So what is the suggestion or the you know the message you would like to give the youngsters out there? So what is the suggestion or the you know the message you would like to give the youngsters out there so uh, never stay in the state of doubt stay carefree do whatever you want but whenever you have any kind of doubt seek for solution from teachers parents friends elder siblings so on but don't stay in the state of doubt stay stay stress free seek for solution ask for help ask for ask questions very true very true sir dear sir aapko kabhi dar lagta hai kisi cheez ka I'm I'm scared of heights, uh, but I have, uh, I like to like, challenge myself even if I had to puke after that thrilling ride or something. But I'll go for it. So I'm scared of a lot of things, but I end up doing all those things. Yes, same here. Even if I'm scared of something, I end up doing it. डर के आगे जीत है देसे लाइक Yes, that's the way to lead a healthy life. Yes, dear sir, आपको गुस्सा आता है? अगर आता है तो कब? I have never been angry, and seriously, all these friends, the names which I've mentioned, they are they are tired of me. Why don't you get angry? At least get angry sometimes. So I don't get angry. Up till now, I've I've never been angry. I am hoping that I'll be angry someday. No, you are nice like this. I see it, and you know, not getting angry, not getting agitated, not reacting, but responding, not reacting, is one of the greatest gifts that you could get from God. You know, that's one of the greatest gifts. I am short tempered. Okay. I'm short tempered, but now I'm trying to like calm down, calm like I now try to balance the emotions. Well, but otherwise, I am short tempered. And if I meet somebody who, who is like patient, that's really hats off to you and stay blessed. 
I will take some of your energy and keep it with me. Please do, please do. Yes, dear sir. Dear sir, when is it that you smile? Wo muskurat kab aati hai aapko? The genuine one. Uh, whenever I eat something good, I had a nice sleep. I had a good workout. I had a good conversation with any of my friends. I see something nice on the real world. Uh, yesterday I was traveling through metro and all the people were on their phone and there was this elderly gentleman who was looking out of the window. We passed Kutub Minar. He was seeking के कहाँ पर है Kutub Minar. And when he saw Kutub Minar, he smiled. So I also smiled looking at him. He is the one who is enjoying the journey, and rest of them are just wasting their time on their devices. So any sort of moment which reflects onto life and how to live the life brings a smile on. Yes, dear sir. That's really nice. Thank you for giving that example. That's wonderful. As you said, no, he's the only one enjoying the journey. There are many yes. more in their own world. Yes, dear sir. What about your weakness? I I have a lot of weaknesses. Uh, I would say, what do I say? Being patient sometimes can become a weakness because you need to be angry with with students, which I cannot. Um, I try and I try to make those angry faces, but uh, they laugh on my face. Weaknesses could be I'm emotional, which can be strength at times and can be weakness at times. So it's a balanced way. To, it's up to me how am I utilizing it. Yes, dear sir. Too much of patience. Also, people take us for granted. Yes, they take. They try to begin to manipulate us, or they take us lightly. In certain cases. Dear sir, to be patient is also really. I I also applaud you for being that. From where do you derive this strength? कि भाई इतना ताकत कहाँ से आती है कि भाई इतना patience ही maintain करे इतना खामोशी से next project पर काम किया जाए तो यहाँ ये शक्ति कहाँ से derive करते हैं आप? I derive everything through my sleep. I sleep at ten. I wake up at six. I am I am a newborn. I it's like I have the same kind of hundred percent energy every morning. Whatever happened in the past, good or bad, it has gone. I have to do good, whatever I want to do on that very day again. Any regrets in life? None. I could have played football at college level, but they didn't have. I could have joined some clubs in Delhi. The scene is very good, but I am happy at what I am doing right now. Yes, dear. So, your favorite color. Red. Wow, we have the background for you. Yes, yes. thank Even you. I love red. Yes, I don't know why that gives me sometimes a uh, positive energy. I feel maybe or maybe I, I feel connected sometimes. I don't know what. Maybe is it. yeah, there a specific reason could be found in the chroma therapy. I don't use it, but one reason which I like red is the red sketch pens are uh, uh, is finished one. At the earliest out of all the twelve colored sketch pens, so I used to have, I used to buy red sketch pen differently, twelve sets of red sketch pens. So for that reason, somehow from that childhood, I started liking red color. Wow, wonderful! That's really nice, uh, and thank you for sharing. Thank you because red is one of my favorite colors too. That's nice, and blood is red, my dear friends. Yes. All of us have the same color blood. There's no difference in the blood that we have in our body. It's the same. Only the groups are different. Like A B positive, B positive, like you know something A positive, B positive, A B positive, and O as well. So yes, so we are all one, my dear friends. We all belong to this human, uh, human race. So let's keep humanity as the greatest religion and love as the universal language. Wonderful, that you said. You you comprise the whole interview in just one line. <laughs> yes, dear sir. Yes, sir. Now we come back to your school. जब आप स्कूल में थे, your favorite subject. I like maths a lot. I I never scored good grade in maths, but I still love maths and I always like maths. I'm quite the opposite, huh? मुझे पसंद नहीं थी. I don't know how I passed tenth class. पता नहीं. Fifty five marks I scored. So I I scored on the similar terms. I never got good grade in maths. Fifties only, tenth or twelfth. But, but I. Yes, no matter what you do with me, but I'll always love you, Mats. <laughs> How nice! That's nice. Yes, dear sir. Now, sir, would you like to share a favorite quotation or a proverb? Because it's very close to my heart. I derive a lot of positivity by reading this quotation. 
negative positivity it's a negative quote to be very oh, precise yes. you can go uh, uh the it's said by a lead singer of a band called nirvana so what he said is it's better to burn out than to fade away and when he was at the peak of his uh, fame and all the popularity few years later he committed suicide so it's in the negative light but when you're doing something so you should always be all in you should give your 100% not be like i'll start with something if this things pulls off then i'll give my 100% if you want to consider this in the positive light it's like always give your 100% never wait ki what will happen after that so give your 100% if you if you are able to succeed in it then it's okay again if you're not able to succeed give your 100% one day you'll eventually be successful thank you for that that's a big takeaway huh Uh, yes. you know it's better to burn out than to fade away i love yes. this and we have to go by this my dear friends it's better to work 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 and just you know burn out than to fade away it's a big take away dear sir would you like to share one uh, your proudest moment aaj tak maine itna sab maine kuch kara isme se sabse badhiya kaam mujhe acha lagta hai wow i feel wow this accomplishment of mine is the best so they can i cannot spend name a specific moment but there have been a lot of moments whenever a student comes to me and they are like you sir you have helped me aapki wajah se aapse baat karne ki wajah se i was able to stay through this trouble into my life i was able to conquer this i was able to do this so whenever a student comes to me and they tell me such things all those moments are filled with pride and emotions as well and they give me a sense of success that yes i have done something in this world my work here is done i can die in peace now ji sir that's nice dear sir how many languages are you conversant in i speak hindi and english but i understand gujarati and punjabi somewhat of marathi as well so five yes uh, listening only i cannot speak punjabi i can try in a very casual manner if someone is there to correct me but not a fluent speaker ji uh, could i put in a request yes ma'am would you oblige to sing a song for us in any yes. one of these languages please i uh, yes english uh, the band i mentioned nirvana i'll sing their song i don't remember the lyrics because i haven't heard the song for quite long now but i'll start pardon my everything i'm i'm a pathetic singer <laughs> I'm so happy this today I found my friends in my heart. I'm so happy this okay, cause so are you. Broke our minds Sunday morning is every day for like it. Now forgotten the lyrics. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's all. Yes, dear. Thank you, thank you very much, sir, for obliging and singing that so sweetly. You've really made, uh, you know. an attempt to sing and it yes. has a lovely uh, message in it as well right it's a beautiful song and even there's the word sunday yes today and is you connect here on a sunday today beautiful what about pets sir do you love pets uh, i had pets when i was a kid we had rabbit uh, rabbits and parrots right now i don't have any pets because i i am a very emotional person i get connected to them and pets have a very small life so when they die it's very disheartening so i i don't think i'm ready for that kind of trauma in my life so i i love pets i whenever i go to any friends house and they have pets i end up spending my whole time playing with them but i personally don't have any pet but i love them. thank you sir thank you for sharing uh, now sir i have a cup in my hand how would you look at this cup is it half full or half empty i would always say the cup is half full there is something you have whenever you are in a very disadvantageous position you still have something with which you can pull up yourself and do something around yourself for yourself so it's always half full and you're a person filled with gratitude when you say that you always have something to you know look up look upon like you know you cannot grudge all the time thoda kuch to bhi bacha hoga aapke paas to usko you know you hold it and then you uh, live your life begin to live a beautiful life Dear sir, you were speaking about emotions. आपने कहा कि मैं बहुत इमोशनल पर्सन हूँ अटैचमेंट बहुत जल्दी हो जाती है तो यस इवन आई एम लाइक दैट आई वॉज लाइक दैट बट नाउ आई एम नॉट आई वॉज लाइक दैट तो आई एम नॉट आई एम अट डिटैच नाउ तो 
could you talk about on emotions like from your perspective ki emotions hai kya aur kis had tak hum log uh, emotions se prabhavit ho sakte hain could you say something about it we uh, like if we go into the definition on theoretical perspective so there are two emotions fear and joy and all the emotions are uh, comes under these two umbrellas so emotions how would i put it emotions are something which uh, connects you to yourself firstly then to the society you know yourself then you know the society and if you have something you want to do for yourself or for the society by bringing those two things together you being with the society then you need to have the right kind of emotion and you need to believe into your emotions whatever you whatever the kind of emotions you have even if you have some kind of wrong emotions but your belief is very affirming to those emotions then you end up leading a good life like most of the criminals they believe in themselves for that reason they are successful criminals as well so emotions are something which reinforces your beliefs in to what you're doing yes yes thank you sir for sharing your thoughts and views thank you very much much appreciated Dear sir, what if the Almighty or the universe gifted you a superpower and say, "Yes, Upendra, it's now your time to pick up and select a beautiful superpower. Here are many of them. You select yours. What would you yeah. select?" I always wanted to answer this question. We always played this game when we were kids, watching all the superhero movies. So I always wanted to be this person who can create, manipulate, and destroy whatever there is around in this universe. I could create planets. So I always wanted to create a good planet Earth for everyone who's on this to provide an opportunity so that they can function and live in harmony with each other at peace. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing. Thank you. सर अक्सर ऐसा देखा गया कि भाई हम लोग टॉक्सिसिटी में जी रहे हैं हमको नहीं मालूम कि भाई ये जगह गलत है दिस इज अ रेड फ्लैग इन माय लाइफ ये दोस्त मेरे लिए सही नहीं है ये फैमिली मेंबर हमारे घर में बहुत डिस्टरबेंस क्रिएट कर रहे हैं फैमिली मेंबर्स क्रिएटिंग टॉक्सिक सिचुएशन फ्रेंड्स कोलिग्स पॉलिटिशियंस एवरीबडी तो पॉलिटिशियंस एंड ऑल वो बाहर की बात है लेकिन इन आवर इनर सर्कल कि ये लोग हमारे लिए ठीक नहीं जो आ, प्लेटफॉर्म टू मेक दम आइडेंटिफाई दिस पर्सन इज नॉट योर टाइप ऑफ अ पर्सन सेव योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दिस पर्सन सेव योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दिस बैड सिचुएशन so this is a very good question i've asked people in they suffer this into their friendships relationships marriage and in relatives also so the first thing uh, with which you can identify this is when you're not comfortable everybody knows what their comfortable space is and they try to ignore it never ignore your comfortable space just because for the reason the other person is you respect the other person you love the other person or you do not want to hurt the feelings of the other person identify your comfort and learn to say no just whenever in whichever situation you are feeling any kind of discomfort you say no people in india has a inherent inherent problem of not saying no to such situations so identify your discomfort and say no these two very easy things anyone can do very nice as you said no if you feel that it is not okay to nahi bol dena tell them on the spot no i am not okay with this don't put up with abuse and don't be silent sufferers don't say abuse suffer abuse in silence you know this can don't be done be even abused. yes this can be done even in the smallest of the situations where you don't want to go to certain place with your friend just say no you don't have to oblige to them and to the gravest the situation about which we are talking yes yes so learn to say no that is really good it saves many of you know the incidents that will happen to your life nahi nahi bol dijiye khatam ho jayega agar acha nahi laga to say no and stop it there learn to say no thodo unko bahut mushkil hota no kehne mein na i have learned it abhi abhi maine seekha i was also like that people pleasing you know it is like that but then slowly slowly seek lena padta hai ki bhai yes 
नो कहने से कुछ भी नहीं होगा यू आर सेविंग योर सेल्फ यू आर सेविंग दर पर्सन ऑल्सो there's a movie uh, starring jim carrey called yes man so if you want to learn to say no you can watch that movie yes man oh great that's really nice thank you for sharing sir thank you yes dear sir now dear sir we talk about mental health as you are a counselor you might have been through a lot of clients and you know people connecting with you students and many of the people so what you would like to say about mental health what type of an awareness you would like to create on this platform with regard to mental health india has a very limited uh, access to mental health very limited awareness to me about mental health and very limited uh, offerings to create uh, solutions for the mental health problems so i just want everyone whatever you are suffering through you should not be your own counselor you should not identify with the whatever you're going through you should not cons- you should not go with the advice of the peers what they say is kuch nahi hai india mein sa chalta hi hai na parents are beta kuch nahi hai ye pareshani to hoti rehti hai never ever ignore what you're going through get a consultation if the person who is qualified enough to tell you that this you are absolutely okay then you live that life but if there's a person who is qualified for this exact task take the consultation and help yourself always seek help i always tell people seek help no matter where you're seeking it from you if you're hesitant to go to counselor take your friend of yours to go with you we'll sit outside wait for you so always seek help. yes yes so visiting a counselor getting to know more about yourself expressing yourself than to suppress your emotion suppress your feeling you will go into depression aur fir bahar aana bahut mushkil hai to when it is coming out let it come out speak up and you know share that's really nice very good and as you said you can even take a friend along with you apne kaha that's really nice a friend a family member if you don't want family members take a friend and go ahead and seek help don't suffer in silence or don't think that yeah theek hai sab kuch theek ho jayega to kabhi kabhi nahi hota aur dangerous ho jayegi wo situation am i right sir Yes, absolutely. Don't wait for it to fade away. Think you'll end up burning out. So just take the action. Yes. The way. Take the action. Take the uh, initiative to you know get yourself into that zone where you should feel comfortable. Where you should feel yes, I'm okay from here and from my entire being. Not only physically, it's even mentally and emotionally as well. Dear sir, Upendra sir. इन द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी इयर्स आगे आने वाले पचास सालों में किस तरह के बदलाव हो सकते हैं इस दुनिया में आपके विचार बोलिए आपके राय आपके विचार With the AI taking over, I think everyone will be lazy, lying on their bed and commanding all the AI robots around them to do their jobs. This is the only thing I could imagine. Like Alexa, put on the light. Alexa, switch yeah. off the lights. Right? Alex, join the meeting for me and answer the questions for me. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. So I just said something. Now I thought, like, yes, sir. So my dear friends, what sir says, it's very true. You know, we may become very lazy. We may become like you know, uh, we even may not connect with each other. We are just stuck up in our own uh, communication gap. Will widen. Yes. Maybe only online we could connect, but then offline, that physical get together, enjoyment, you know, festivity, and all of that partying. social gatherings will be minimized yes. in case if ai takes over a lot right yes sir dear sir agar aapko mauka diya gaya ek machine aapke haath mein di hai ek button dabane se aapko purane zamane mein le jayegi wo yes. machine aur wahan par jaake kisi aur ka zindagi jeena pade to aap kiska zindagi chunenge sir i would choose uh, swami vivekananda i want to give that his famous lecture in the united national cultural conference so and many more great things he did for the indian society i would be swami vivekananda wonderful don't say me would yes and there should be many more swami vivekanandas many more upendras as well yes dear sir constructive criticism is baat ko kaise aap aage le jayenge how will you try to put your thoughts on constructive criticism so by definition it is something wherein you highlight uh, whatever the person is doing wrong and you tell the person how he can or she can make these things better and improve on those things how i can take it better is 
whenever you are highlighting on the areas of improvement for a person and you're guiding them how they can improve in this you should also be a supportive hand throughout the journey in this journey wherever you need my support you should be that supportive hand wherever you need my support you come to me without any kind of hesitations if you're big, that person who's giving the constructive criticism you should also be that person to take hold the hand and take that person onto a greater level where you want to see that person that's really nice thank you now sir do you forgive others easily dusron ko jaldi maaf kar dete aap i don't get angry at the first place so the, the chance of forgiving <laughs> doesn't exist how nice you know i wish i was you i wish i was you yes yes sir on a scale of 1 to 10 how would you rate yourself with regard uh, to forgiving others 10 10 on 10 agar mujhe puche to 5 Okay. Yes. yes so great i want to come to 10 but it is very difficult i want to come to 10 but then i am at 5 you will gradually come to 10 by doing all this what you are doing i really want to appreciate you the whole fab talks team the kind of efforts you are putting into creating awareness about all these people because as a community we are inspired by people who have achieved a lot in their life but when we listen to the people who are just like us i am like any con person i sit on a e rickshaw i'll travel via metro so i'm whenever if someone sees this interview even a one person that person will feel at least like apne jaisa hi hai acha hi bol raha hai so what you are bringing for the people instead of having this whole influencer culture it's really great thank you international fat talks for coming up with this great idea people just follow what is working but you have come up with this great idea so thank you thank so you much. thank you sir thank you very much it means a lot thank you thank you sir dear sir now we come down to this part called as the rapid fire round okay will i get a gift hamper like karan jo also uh, hopefully hopefully that will be in the near future definitely definitely sir we come to this small part called as the rapid fire round where we will concentrate on your likes and dislikes okay. is that okay sir so dear friends uh, we've been connecting with our special celebrity for today he is mr upendra kumar rana from haryana gurgaon haryana right yes and forgive me if like i stop for a minute because i may like mismatch some name or mismatch the state and then that will be a problem yes dear friends it's now time for the rapid fire round let's get to know about our special guests likes and dislikes dear sir the favorite day of the week sunday any day sunday why because uh, on sunday i am really productive i work 6 days a week and on sunday i do all the household chores so it really gives a sense of uh, pride in me ki aaj bahut sara kaam kar liya i did, and because i am doing all sorts of work i clean up room clean up the kitchen clothes and everything so for that reason yes dear your favorite number sir 3 your birthday birthday comes on uh, 15th 15th of August, I was I wow. got free, freedom when India got independence. I also got independence from my mother's womb. Wow, that's a beautiful way to share that. That's nice. So August fifteenth is your birthday, and lucky number is three. Favorite number is three. Yes, sir. Now, dear sir, the next question: Are you a tea or a coffee person? I'm a water person. I don't drink either tea or coffee. I drink water. Lucky, lucky you are. I'm a coffee person. You're very lucky. and all of us dear friends hydrate yourself learn that from our special guest today water is really very important and a lot of caffeine is like lot of coffee or tea is not good or maybe any of the other drinks as well water is really healthy so you should be hydrated dear sir do you like texting or calling which one you feel more comfortable calling even voice calling and video calling video calling yes dear sir dear sir is it chocolates ice cream or cake ice creams the favorite flavor i would say butterscotch i like chocolate but now i've shifted to butterscotch favorite season winters land water or air land city village or town village 
a library, a hospital, or a marketplace? Where do you feel good to see people and observe people? Unko dekhne mein kahan par zindagi ka sach much ka we learn something. Ne? Where do you see it? Get marketplace. Marketplace. And uh, when you help others, aap dusron ka madad bahut karte huye aaye hain aap chaaj tak karte bhi rahoge aap aage bhi that we know very well. When you help others, do you expect anything? So when I say expect, it is a smile, a satisfaction on their face. I mean that. Two. So counseling is a very patient profession. You, whenever you uh, trying to help someone, you won't get the result at the same day. The result will can be after a month, can be after two months, can be after three months. So expectation is never there. Uh, we know we'll get certain kind of results, but. Uh, we always try for it but whenever we achieve it if the person is there we can see the result and there's a smile there's a gesture of gratitude whatever there is it always reinforces us to do go do more good and energizes us but if there is no such thing it, even then we are equally happy like i have done my bit and let's move on to the next one yes dear yes dear thank you so much Your idea of a beautiful day, एक सुंदर सा दिन एक ही शब्द में Sitting on a mountain peak at the edge, seeing the beautiful nature. Perfect. Do you know this life skill? Yes, ma'am. Do you know this life skill, cooking? Yes, I I cook well. I've been cooking. I I stay alone. I cook two times a day. <laughs> I your favorite cook. very good that's nice go ahead sir yes ma'am you were asking something i interrupted you first hai na okay. so i can cook anything and everything if i don't know the recipe i'll go to our favorite teacher youtube youtube oh sweet aapka sabse badhiya favorite recipe kaun si hai sir i i like to cook mushroom and i like to eat a lot of mushrooms i'm a cook really well whenever someone comes into my place i cook mushrooms for them Yes, dear. Thank you for sharing. Your favorite teacher's name or your sir's name, ah, uh, the sir's name, when you were in school. I am unable to recall the name, but it was my English teacher, and she was a wonderful lady. And the reason everyone, not only me, all she was teaching three sections, all the one fifty student liked her for the sole reason, she gave us all the permissions. Whenever you want to go out of my class, whenever you want to enter into my class, whatever you want to eat into my class, do. We did all these things for like a month, but then everyone used to stop. We used to listen to her quietly. No disturbance was in the class. Somehow, I don't know still how it happened, but this was same in all the three sections. She told. You would like to mention her name? I am unable to recall the name. I have to go for the school picture for the photograph. Then only I'll able to recall. But. That's nice. So, yes, you remember her like that, right? Yes. You would like to share something more? Yeah, that was it. Yes, dear. Dear sir, are you an early bird or a night owl? Neither of them. I sleep at ten, wake up at six, so I don't come in any of the categories, I suppose. Yes, dear. Salty, sweet, spicy, or sour food? Sour. Katta. Yes. जब आप अकेले हैं अकेले बैठे हैं कमरे में कोई भी नहीं है कोई गेजेट भी नहीं है साथ में ओनली चार दीवारे हैं ऑफकोर्स द डोर इज देर एंड वन विंडो And then, if I say char divari, that means then you have to come out. So the walls and the window, and a chair. You are sitting on the chair, and you are connected to your thoughts. Where do your thoughts take you? Into the past, or the present, or you are connected to the future? Ah, uh, future. Not about myself. Future about the earth. What where the, this humanity is going? What people are doing? What can be done to improve this thing one by one? How can I change one person? My either if it is my friends, future. You love socializing or me time? Both. You're a thinker, doer, or both. Sixty percent thinker, forty percent doer. How sweet of you to share that like that. That's really nice. 
you believe in experiential learning or theoretical learning experiential learning all the way fresh fruits fresh salads or fried food fresh fruits i had no i haven't eaten anything fried from past 3 4 years <laughs> home cooked food or food ordered from out home cooked food are you a beach person or a forest person beach i guessed it you said nine times go up <laughs> so then that's i understood yes sir you love to walk a two wheeler a four wheeler what you'd like to walk you try walking i'll share a small story with you during yes. my campus placement interviews uh, they were asking me what do you plan to do when you where do you see yourself after 5 years or 10 years i said i'll be taking a walk from kashmir to kanyakumari wow wow i even had that laid out plan that 4200 kilometers if i walk 40 kilometers every day it would take around 60 days for me to complete this right so <laughs> i always love to walk you'd love to kind of, i mean fulfill that dream right you yeah i plan to do it yeah i think a group of people can all join together and we can go it would be really wonderful hai na yes but it would be great actually but to find a group of people for so many days <laughs> becomes a challenge now you can put it up online it's a wonderful thought you know how many days yeah. it will take you have to chalk out the plan and just put up the post online then there will be many people who will join and it will be a big team to support each other and all it will be nice i am already yeah, dreaming about it now imagine i'll do that the plan is all all laid out i did that 10 years ago but i'll put up a post if you yeah put up and see ki but what's the response they king yes. you yes. know what's yes. the response and there were people who would love to go ahead and you know experience life have this adventurous life of you know as you said from kanyakumari to kashmir <laughs> and we can start with a small walk if a people are willing to come around for 15 days we can do a small walk yes and you can like put it like you know uh, creating awareness on counseling on mental health and we are taking this walk from you know kanyakumari to kashmir so you will get a lot of uh, you'll create a lot of awareness i feel like that that's only my suggestion yes yes, yes dear nice i really love that i love that adventure which you have thought you have to take that forward one fine day theek hai na that's nice definitely, definitely thank you for that idea of posting it a lot of crazy people are out there yes dear dear sir on a on a table if there is a lovely book and a great music system aap pehle kya chunenge sir uh, i'll go for a great music system yes dear if at all you were given a chance to relocate to some other country which country would love to go i would go to denmark the reason winter, winter is always there people ride on cycles i can easily walk or ride a cycle only this reason yes dear sir yes sir we had a wonderful time with you sharing your thoughts and views today is there anything that i didn't ask you i skipped the question or maybe i skipped asking you that part you would like to share that you are most welcome to share i think i have shared my complete journey i am able to recall when i was 5 years old everything i did school college whatever i had done all those mischievous things so thank you for reminding me all those things and likewise thank you for inviting thank you for being such a great host thank you aur kuch hai baki kuch share karna hai kuch message dene hai hum sab ke liye any message for all of us live in harmony live in synergy seek help stay stress free stay in peace beautiful that's really nice ab choti si request hai sir requesting it's a question do you love to give gifts or get gifts i give gifts i love and i give on any occasion even if there is no occasion i am feeling like it i'll give something and specifically handmade gifts yeah. i like to have the person connect with the gift it's not something which i paid with money and sent it across like what are those handmade gifts what you could share with us maybe a greeting card or something like that ha ah, sort of the uh, origami i used to learn origami in school so making crazy stuff with those greeting cards and you send them across yes that adds a personal touch you know our energy and love is into that when we prepare it with our hands yes yes, yes sir ab hamare liye choti si tohfa dena hai sir ab you have to give us a small gift and that is the three magical words Okay. Okay. We have three magical words, my dear friends. That is, please, sorry, and thank you. Is ke alawa, we ask our special guest to give us the gift of three magical words 
to empower us and to make us stronger in life. To focus on those three words and build our life. Yes, sir. Over to you. Patience, courage, acceptance. Wonderful. Patience, courage and acceptance. As you are all full of patience, you have lots of courage and acceptance. Accept others. Be willing to accept others. Only then you will understand how they are behaving and why they are behaving like that. Unka dard samaj sakte hai na? To accept them the way they are. And continue your beautiful journey. Have a lot of patience. So these are really great takeaways from you, sir. Thank you for these three beautiful gifts. I would love that you would again give your time for the International Fab Talks and share more of your experiences. Yes, sir. Anytime. Whenever you whenever you'll require, I'll be obliged with the request. Just I'm a little busy, so I might take some of your time. And you would, I will gradually increase your patience whenever you're dealing with me. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So stay blessed and stay safe. We wish you thank all you. the best in all your endeavors. Namaskar, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So dear friends, with this, we'd like to end our session for now. We had a great time getting to know about Mr. Upendra Kumar Rana from Gurgaon, Haryana. Thank him for being so patient and giving us his time. Stay blessed, dear sir, and stay blessed, everyone. Thank you.